Hello, everybody. Welcome to the POV Podcast. And today I have something I really want to talk about. Uh, I want to, I'm just, it's probably like an announcement or something like that because I really got some things I kind of want to take out of my chest and my mind and all that stuff and answer a few questions. This won't be a long episode. I think I probably might doubt that this might not be a long episode, but this episode is going to be a really, really good episode, I hope. And I want to say thank you to the EFED podcast for getting me expired from a from few weeks ago for just to continue the POV podcast. Without that podcast, man, there won't be no... like Without that podcast, you probably won't ever see this podcast again. But yeah, here we are. And before we begin talking about efeds and all that stuff and some stuff that's going to happen throughout this week or next month or something like that. I want to say I'm trying not to cry. I was watching Wrestle Kingdom like not the full event but like the, like a couple of matches from it like certain matches I kind of want to see. I might go back and watch the tag team championship match because I because because I skimmed through the Wrestle Kingdom and watched the um United States Championship match, the um, Junior Championship match, the Intercontinental, and the Heavyweight. And the Heavyweight match about to make me cry. I was really about to cry after... I'm not going to spoil it. If y'all, if y'all seen Wrestle Kingdom and y'all know what happened, y'all know how I feel right now. I was literally about to cry at the ending. I was literally about to cry. I was about to break down and literally... Throw a hissy fit. That's besides the point. I'm not going to throw a hissy fit right now. Probably later on. I might vent to some people. Because that got me either kind of pissed off. Kind of mad. But I'm trying not to be mad. Because it was really, really damn good match. I was literally at the edge of my seat. And I was literally about to break down a couple of times during the match. And it got me like hot. It got me psyched up, okay? Got me psyched up. That's besides the point. We're here to talk about E-Feds. Here to talk about wrestling stuff. And POV Podcast is my point of view on E-Feds and wrestling. So I'm going to start talking about that. <clears throat> so. Some things I've been thought about. I've been thinking about a lot of things throughout this week. Because I have to record... Well, I got done finishing editing Lionheart Wrestling episode one, but I got to record not that new ambitions wrestling turbo for 2020. So I got to do that because hey, that's what I got to do. And um, the thing is about it is that I'm trying to get some inspiration for what I want to do with that show with new with new ambitions wrestling. Because the thing is, with that show, it's a Fire Pro show, but I have to mod it a bit just to get the promo stuff in, just to get the other stuff in, and I got to make sure everything's all right with the matches. Because I was going to do it without mods, but I need to mod it a little bit just to get the promo engine and all that stuff because I kind of want to introduce promos, take out the fight graphic, and use the, um, the theme songs. And stuff, so I could just, you know, do what I do, do what I do best. And I need to think about some storylines, some potential robberies throughout the years, throughout, well, throughout this year, and also try to find motivation to continue this show. I got motivation because I love Fire Pro, but the problem is I want to get things a bit done a certain way. I tape things ahead of time so I, so I don't have to worry about it later on and find more motivation. And then, and then I could tape whatever I tape whatever I can throughout the year. And then I'd be done with, with just a couple months. And I could just take a break and then continue taping the next few months. That's what I do with, 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 with NAW new, or NAW, New Ambitious Wrestling, because that's easier f- for me. The difference between that show and my 2K show is that the 2K show, I either have to sim the match or choreography the match for certain spots. 
And I do tape ahead of time so that the show can be a lot more quicker. Well, not quicker, but a lot more, you know, out of my mind. Like, try to get things out of, ah, damn, how do you say this? I'm trying to get things done without, like, stressing I do things the same day that the show has to be aired. Because it takes a lot of editing for a 2K show than a Fire Pro show. That's the difference. The 2K show, you got to type stuff up. You got to record the match. Well, type stuff up for promos. Then you got to record the match. You got to add entrance music because they don't record entrance music from the game because the game copyright stuff. But you got to put entrance music for the, for, for the wrestlers and all that stuff. And this takes a lot of hassle. That's the issue with me and 2K. But it's fun to like... Well, it tests my editing skills because, you know, some matches, choreography. Like, for example, if, if a match at the ends, like, a, ends like five seconds for the roll-up because of interference, then I got to do that. I got to switch my characters, do this, do that, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. simple. But with Fire Pro, it takes time. I mean, I mean, well, it has... It doesn't take time, but Fire Pro is a lot more harder to do stuff like that because of, you know, you can't edit the um, the health. You cannot, you know, it's just a lot of things you can't do with Fire Pro that, like, you could do in 2K. I, I love them both. Them both is, like, a really, really good wrestling game, even though one's broken than the other. Either or, it's a wrestling game. You can make shows out of it and you got fun with it. So, NAW, well, I want to talk about PSPW for, for a moment. PSPW um, is just a monthly show. So, it's going to be monthly probably because I got no plans for that show at all. Other than that, I want to run like, you know, shows like house shows or that's where all my talent that I don't really use go, go there. Because the only plan I thought about was having like a, it's to make like Chikara, little goofy. Little serious and just pro wrestling because it's wrestling, man. Like, it's much more of a gimmick wrestling show, or something like that. I don't know. That's what I was doing for PSPW. That's, that's my plans. But I was watching um, an anime that I used to watch, like, I think it was last year or two years ago called Want to Be the Strongest in the World. And basically, that show. It's like an all female, like it, it, it's a showin show. So basically, especially the the main character is a female, and she's an idol, right? And the thing about this, she's an idol, and then then like the the hottest trend was wrestling. So so two idols, the main character and her friend, train to become pro wrestlers just to get more eyes on, on their product. And the thing, and the thing that kind of got me interested is Joshi Wrestling. I kind of want to watch Joshi Wrestling. Not kind of. I do want to watch Joshi Wrestling because it's one of the... It's it's kind of cool. You know, all-female promotion wrestling, and they basically, you know, fuck each other up. <laughs> like, they, like, I know some Joshi wrestlers that could just beat the shit out of each other, just like how, you know, Shibata and Okada used to do. They just beat the crap out of each other, just fight and win. They fight to win. They don't do no dumb stuff. Well, even though sometimes they do dumb stuff, but what you expect? And the thing is, I'm going to answer that. I'm going to say that in a question because it, it just crossed my mind. But yeah, it's something like, it, like it's an answer to a question that I was asked, and I and I and I had to do the questionnaire. So let me um, open up my notepad and um, questions. There we go. So I'm gonna answer some questions. I got, right now I got six questions. So let's. So like I might do a little questionnaire right now. And then I might get on with the other stuff, but yeah. Now, question number one. 
what is your male uh, what what is your match and male wrestler of the decade um that's a tough question to be honest with you like the thing is with that question what is my favorite match of the decade and favorite male wrestler of the decade that's tough for me because there's a lot of good matches out there such as New Japan cuz I cuz I start watching New Japan matches and I didn't really have no favorite m- matches in the uh, WWE a lot cuz I don't remember the, the the WWE like that I I watched as a child but then I got older and I watched CZW then I got interested in Ring of Honor and then I found Kenny Omega Kenny Omega was my childhood well not my ch- well my teenhood Ken Omega was like awesome. Watched a couple of his matches and he came became my favorite. So uh, out of the decade, I would say my favorite was either Kenny Omega or AJ Styles. It's like it's one of them two. But my match of the decade, that is harder. I would like to say my favorite match was Um, Dominion. It was in Dominion, right? It was Okada versus Omega with a sixty-minute draw. That match was lit. Freaking awesome! I don't like the like the original match was good. Don't get me wrong. I like I like the original match. I like their G one match, and I like their match that Kenny Omega won the title in. But that sixty-minute draw was the point of no return for me. I love it. I'm not going to watch it again because it's too damn long. Well, I am going to watch it again one day. But it was it's 60 minute draw, man. Like it was that they went at it at each other. But another match I kind of want to see is um Okada and Shibata. I want to see that match just just for the laughs because Shibata f- fucked them up so badly, bro. It was the funniest joint I've ever seen in my life. Anyways, my next next question: What is your most and least favorite moment? Uh, what what's your most and least favorite things in the world of car? Oh, I got a lot of things to say about that. What I like about car or just credit wrestler, like, uh, boy. In the world of call, it's like this. There is a lot of things that have been going on that makes me that turns me off in call. Like the drama, all this BS that's going on with call. That turns me off. But the best thing about it, let me start from from the well, let me start praising it before I shit on it, okay? The world of call is a really good fan, a really good like um community. You meet people, you talk to people, you get to have human interactions online. I'm not a big fan of of human interactions, but oh well. You get to meet people, that's cool. You get to talk to people, that's cool, and you get to like connect with people. Like, I can't get, like, don't get me wrong. I love the world of Call. Like, Call, Create a Wrestler. Well, the 2K community. I'm going to start with the 2K community, then the Fire Pro community, because they count, because they create a wrestlers or edits. But I love the community. I do. Well, I well that's a damn lot. I like the community. I like it. It's a really good community because you get to talk to people, you know, just have fun and, and like just just have fun with them. And and in Fire Pro, Fire Pro is is kind of tribal, but at the same time, you know, I've met some really cool people in Fire Pro community. Like I really met some really cool people. And like the thing is, the between Call and Fire Pro, I love Fire Pro more. Call's a cool community, but time for me to shit all on it. There's a lot of fucking drama, tribalism, and basically bullshittery. It turns me off, and it makes me not want to be in call anymore. 
the thing is with Carl is that people like there's there's levels to this crap, bro. You got the high calls and you got the calls like me and everybody else. The thing about the high calls, like they, like they're like they're on top of the world, like they're the big top promotion. They got so much followers, so much fandom. But the bullshit about it is that the fact that they kind of more tribalism, like they're more tribal, and then and like the thing is, they just so high and mighty to the point that it just turns me off. They could be cool people. I'm not talking about everybody. I'm talking about the I'm talking about the ones that I've seen and so the ones I heard about. It's like the thing is, is that like you become like you want to join a community, right? But you don't get nobody to like like your shit. <laughs> like you don't get eyes on your product, you don't get eyes on you as in general, and you and you basically just a, a, another person versus the other cause that that's well known. They get a lot of people talk about them, and then they want to start their own stuff, but they start. Kicking other people out and all the shit. It's just so random. It's just so fucked up, to be honest with you. And the fucked up thing about Carl is that it's just. People can be so dicks. Like, they just. Like, they can be full of themselves and then they can become dickheads. The Carl people I know and the Carl people I work with, they're not like that. They're the unknown. I would rather work with the unknown people than work with somebody who is like a like they full of themselves. Like the thing is, most of my people I work with 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 two K are like the smaller people. They could be like I think they got some clout behind them, but at the end of the day, they just they they have their the little following. They got the cult following, or they don't have no following that I want to work with them just to just for them to get a following. Hell, I'm not just shit on call just to shit on call. I'm shit on call because I want to see it better. Same with Fire Pro. Fire Pro got a call following. People got call for. I, I I don't really work with people on. Well, I do work. Uh, I work with people on Fire Pro, but the thing is, I rather work with people that I kind of would trust. Because some people can be very mad, sad, and they could be all this and that, and then they just get mad that their edit lost and they. Don't get treated right, and they well, we say, hey, they lost fair and square. He got critical. He got pinned. He got he got submitted. But at the same time, it's like fire pro community is more tamed than call community. Like call is a big community with wrestling games. Fire pro is a small community before wrestling games. The thing is, if you just Want to be known in in each community? Just be yourself, my guy. The thing is that I do not like about like call and stuff is just people. They just have so much ego. Like the ego behind what they do is just so toxic. That's the thing. That's the thing I don't like about call. That's why I kind of just stick to little things with call. Cause I, cause I'm not scared to go big. I just want people to like see that there's always a home for somebody. There's always some. There's always somebody that wants to do that. That wants to be different. That wants to be, you know, original. That that wants to be something that's not. Like the same from everybody else. With my fed Lionheart Wrestling, we take the unknown and the underground. Well, the underground to the unknown. And we mold them up to some superstars. To some wrestlers. My my um but the thing is I'm gonna talk about that later. But my thing thing is the reason why I got some of my my creations in that promotion, cause the thing is I get to experiment more with my creativity. Cause handling somebody who is like that that they want to be like this, want to be like that in, in my company. I can't do that. 
That's too that that's not only pressure to me, but that's just kind of messing my flow up. With my own creations, I can have my own flow. You could call it an e-fed or not, but at the same time, it's just it's a federation. It's an electronic federation. With my Firepro Fed, most of my stuff is my creation. Just to just to like, you know, explore my creativity. And maybe something good could happen. This turns to a rant, bro. I, I need it. Oh my god. Which old school game do you wish had a call feature? Um Old school game that I had a, that I wish I had a call feature. To be honest, I don't really know because most of the games I play had call features. Because the thing is, I would say TNA. If they had a if they had a better call feature, then the game would be lit. And if they had another game, that'd be kind of cool too. But most games I play do does have a call feature. I think one of them I played didn't. Nah, nah, they did, they did. But the thing is, I don't really know my guy. To be honest, I don't really know because I most games I play does does have a call feature, and I don't really play that many old games. Oh, oh, oh! Never mind, never mind, never mind. WCW NWO Revenge. If it had a call feature, create your own character in that game, it would have been better. The most you could do is just edit the real characters. Wrestling Revolution for 3D, that kind of counts as a call feature because you could literally fuck up everything and just do your own stuff. But, well, it's made to be created. Like the game is made to be edited, basically. But and, but those W and the Revenge should have a call feature because that game will be better. It'll be more fun, and it'll be and you can fuck things up with that game. It's the funniest thing ever. Anyways, um, what's next, mate? This was okay. These next three questions came from the same person, and I want to say thank you for having more questions for me. Well, thank you for everybody who, that asked me questions because I really need some questions. Did you did you have any new new feds in mind to to create? This is the, the question that was literally asked of me that I was about to answer before this video or this podcast, but you know, I didn't. Here's the thing, right? I'm not going to be around a bush. I didn't at first, but I kind of do now. But I'm not going to use it. I might not use this idea. When I was watching, like this, like if if, if y'all guys recall, I was watching an anime. Like I was talking about like an anime, the, the little Joshi anime. I thought about re reiterating my Joshi Sports Fed from that, like reintroduce my Joshi Sports Fed because woman wrestling is lit. But another idea is a hardcore fed. But I'm not gonna. But I'm. But the thing is, when I when I when I started out XCW. Or BXW, wherever I started out as, for my hardcore fed, it was just a one time thing. Well, kind of a one time thing. I had plans in mind for the hardcore fed, but I was like, I'm probably going to do this once a month, have a tournament, hardcore tournament for hardcore championship that's going, that's a zero hardcore championship or whatever, and I'm just going to do things my way. But another fit I had in mind was like a um, at, hmm. It was like an anime fit, 
not really like an anime fed, but like more like a um anime inspired fed. Or like a Lucha Underground Spire Fed, but the thing is, I don't know how to do it. Or a text fed. I don't know. I have so I have some ideas for some stuff like that. But the thing is, I ain't trying to do them. Cause I need to focus on the main flagship fed, NAW, and a flag and one my and since I'm working with Uprising Network. Uh -oh. Excuse me. I gotta focus on Lionheart. So having another Fed is not gonna be a good idea for me. The most I could do is kind of mention it, because the thing is, I want to start my own universe, like my own wrestling universe, and um. When I tried that before, it didn't work out well, but I learned from it, I guess. <laughs> I guess I learned from it. I guess I didn't, but it's just rough sometimes, you know, starting to fade, creating the characters and all that stuff. It's just rough. So what I did is just did what I would do best. Do whatever I want. Or scrap it. That's what I do best. Just scrap my stuff. Sucks butt, but that's reality, my guy. But if I did start a new fed, it'd probably be like a Joshi fed. Maybe. Because I was watching this damn anime. And I got inspired by it. But at the same time, I want to make men, too. So it's like, that's kind of defeats the purpose. But yeah, that's just me. Let me make sure I didn't get no phone calls. Wait, it's connected with... Okay, it's connected with... All right, bet. Next question. But, well, let me go back to that question. Let me answer that joint. I do have some ideas, but, I, but I'm not going to use them. I probably might just do something else that's similar to my idea but it's not gonna be a fed probably it's probably be like a tournament or like an event uh or something i don't know is there one or more edits that you have created that you follow kano's one of them i guess troy's my other one and then tasmania but the thing is with that it's like I do follow some of my edits that I want to give out to the world. But sometimes I want to re retract them, like bring them back to like bring them back to me, work on them a little bit more, and then release them back or release one or two just for them to like, you know, get some exposure and bring them to me, bring the exposure to me for my product. And you know, we get a little bit of a something, you know? But for real, for real, I do got some edits I do follow. I just need to feel confident in them. Because I don't really, cause sometimes I don't got no confidence in what I do or what my characters do. So I need to get a little confidence in them and give them a little character. I want to give my my edits a character Cause with a character, fix my mic. Cause I need to give him a character and identity and try to be original. Most feds are not original, but that's that's the point. We talking about the question. Next question: Will you do updates on your edits accomplishments each week to keep us informed? I am planning on doing that. I am planning on doing that. For example, like, um, for my character, Troy Blackwell, the little 2K character, I was going to do, like, watch the shows that he's in and, like, cr like clip the matches and post them on this channel just to see, you know, what he's what he been doing. I don't know about if I do that for, for Kano because I don't know when he's booked. But hey, 
that's just something. Or I might just make a database for all my characters and, you know, give them their accomplishments or, or update their Steam page or something like that. I might do that. I don't know. That's just me. But I will try to keep but I will try to keep you guys updated on my um characters, my edits, my wrestlers, and everything else. Wow, it's been 30 minutes and I had a lot of things to say. That's a record. But at the end of the day, let me make sure keep track of some stuff so that I don't have to be interrupted and in stuff. Alright, that's cool with me. Costco's! But anyways. I do want to see others succeed. And I do want to keep my mind occupied and motivated to do these feds for y'all. All I need is not somebody to believe in me, but somebody to just keep me in track or keep me motivated. Well, not keep me motivated, but like keep me, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's hard to explain it because it's like, I don't know. But other feds out there, I'm not going to trash other feds out there because I don't do that. I don't trash other feds. If I don't like a fed, I just don't watch it. I might watch. I might. If I do like a fed, I might watch it. If I kind of want to see what you're doing, I will watch your fed every now and then. If I love your fed, I'll keep on watching it. I must. I will binge watch it. That's how. That that like that's how that's how it works. If I want to keep update to if I want to if I want to keep update to you, I will watch almost all your shows and keep up to date. Sometimes I even like just think about your show and try to see what happens if I was in your show. If I was in commentary, if I was, you know, sending my stuff and giving you my ideas, that's what I do. I don't trash feds. I don't have an ego. I, I have an ego, but I don't have that type of ego that would just be toxic. Because it's not the right thing to do, my guy. People who's trashing other feds, kayfabe or not, you, that gives me a vibe that you have a big-ass ego. And that's bullshit to me. But I just want to see others succeed. I want to see others feds, you know, do their thing, be the, be themselves, have an identity of their own. That's all I want from a federation. That's all I want from, from a fed, you know? Identity. Creativity. Just something that keeps people on the edge of their seats and sit down and just look at your, look at your show, think about your show, or just want to can't wait for the next show. Well, I think that's all that's all I gotta say because my damn mind is running wild on making characters, recording stuff, and just doing what the hell it's supposed to do. I watch some anime or hentai. I don't know what the fuck I wanna do. But <laughs> but you know, that's just me. I wanna say this was a short one, you know, thirty minutes. Not an hour. I do want to interview. I might interview somebody from a board fed. I might interview somebody from a from a gaming fed. Hell, I kind of want to have a guest and we talk about wrestling in general. Instead of an interview, it's just going to be us talking about wrestling and e-feds. This was me, Mal, from the Point of View podcast, from the Zero Channel, from NAW, Lionheart Wrestling, etc., 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 I want to say thank you for watching, and I'll catch y'all later. Ciao!